All right. Ladies and gentlemen, quick gameplay thoughts. Let's have a look. Mythics and subclass support. While the Mythic Eisen system works reasonably well for some classes like Assassins, for other classes with more divergent needs, uh, it's been difficult to satisfy all of the users across each of the subclasses. An example, fighters are many different subclasses, divers, juggernauts, skirmishers, etc. So trying to fulfill the needs of all those different champions with only four items has proven to be extremely difficult. While theoretically we could solve the mythic needs of these champions by creating ten mythics spli split across each of subclasses of the fighters, every item we add to the mythic pool adds an additional item's worth of complexity to the game. There is a maximum number of items a league can have before it gets too complicated, and for every mythic item that we add, an item sold that is taken up, and there is one less in the legendary item pool. Going into mythic items, we knew that adding them would mean less itemization options for item slots 2 to 5. We did increase the total item pool to compensate for this since we knew the legendary space would be more pinched, but it still wasn't enough. We initially thought that the excitement mythics would bring as a new tier of items would overcome this, but while 50% of champions were satisfied with their mythic items, the other 50% were left feeling like they didn't have items that felt right for them. To fully satisfy the needs of all champions, we would need to add 30% more items and the complexity associated with each to the item system, which we don't want to do, and as that will make League significantly harder to learn i think something that the mythic item system actually brought to the game which i'm not saying is good or bad i think that the mythic item system allowed riot to put a lot of power into a single item with mythics for the first time we had effects that were never seen before and whether you like that or not that's completely up to you but it did allow that layer of complexity to the game. I personally hated it. Mythic goals and design debt. When we started out Mythic items, it intended to be high excitement with unique outputs. Yeah, exactly what we talked about. Similar to getting really awesome unique items in MMOs and RPGs, dashes, Stridebreakers, Spotless, Gale Force, Big Heels, and Hard CC were previously for you and far between. For example, a Fizzle 6 in Morgana feels like the gameplay gets transformed for better when they complete Zonia's Hourglass, and we were interested in exploring a version of League that had more kit warping effects that augmented, augmented champions. I think that's fair, right? I don't think the idea was crazy in itself, you know? But well, we were able to balance champions around having mythic outputs, a failure around Gale Force, it has a bit too much design debt when it comes to designing new champions. Another issue with mythic items is that due to the need to satisfy many different users with a limited number of mythic items, each item tended to be quite complicated as we often needed to have multiple mechanics or stats on certain items so that they be satisfied and cross many different champions and classes. And many items like Stridebreaker needed four stats. Prior to mythics, items were much simpler across the board which is something we'd like to get back to. Champion power budget and items. Balancing a champion's total power budget is done by considering the kit, items, summon spells, runes, etc. This innately means that if an item takes up a significant portion of this power budget, then other aspects like abilities need to take up a smaller amount. After observing the past few years, we think that new, even unique item effects in the legendary system are overwriting champions' gameplay too much and would like to reduce it by some amount. This will allow more of the champions' unique gameplay to shine. Rather than being a champion delivery system, four upfront burst damage procs, as an example. Item stacking considerations. Having only one mythic item had the notable benefit for game balancing. This is because we can make items strong and satisfying without the fear of them being stacked, but after seeing this in practice, we don't think this benefit alone justifies all the costs that we're paying for when it comes to game complexity and satisfying all champions with mythic items. As a result, we intend to reduce the power of items that were previously mythic when converting them to legendary. Please remove Gale Force. Please. How do you balance Gale Force? Rather than beating the power of legendaries up to where mythics are today, this means that some of the more kit warping items like Gale Force will be removed. Mm. That's what's up. That's what's up. That means that some of the more kit warping items like Gale Force will be removed, but some legacy exceptions like Zonia's Argus that were present in the old item system will stay. As we move to a world where most items will be stackable again, we'll need to reduce the power level of items generally so that stacking them doesn't make become too powerful. The future of items, elegant design that is still satisfying is the holy grail that we aspire for. Simple items with a clear purpose reduce the barrier to entry, learning league, and reduce the unnecessary complexity in making choices between competing itemization options. But having a single unique item that creates balanced sort choices across users is satisfying. It makes good use of an item slot is incredibly difficult to achieve in actuality. Where possible, we'd like to reduce item complexity to have one clear unique effect and a maximum of three stats. We also want items to have at least five uses, but with as diverse of a champion roster as we have in league, we know we will need to make exceptions in some places. The number of items and their complexity is commonly cited as a barrier to playing league and we aim to simplify items by a meaningful amount while still trying to keep the things players like. 
This will make some individual items less exciting across the board, but will ultimately mean that the individual champion kits and the differences will shine more. Players will have more flexibility to craft builds and the items will feel like they fit champions better. While long term, we're still interested in the concept of an actual additional item tier. Orn does it well, for example. We know mythic items as they are currently is not the right exception of the concept. Look at the size of this dub. You guys see the size of this dub? It's massive. Nice. I wouldn't be surprised if like Jinx and Aphelios and all these champions that get Gale Force removed, I think they will get like, they will get like five move speed. They will get like five flat move speed. <laughs> they should add humongous items. Exceptionally large items that take up two item slots because of their overwhelming mass. What will Orn do now? Orn will do... Uh, Orn will do what he did in the past. He just upgrades like um, legendary items. I think if they give Jinx and Aphelios, like these champs that need Gale Force, like five base move speed, something like this, I could see it. I could see it. Riot Froxon. This guy is a G. Very nice.